Two is uh, Royal Eau Claire, Ruby Walsh. Three, Hunters Tweed, Russ Garrity. Four is uh, Gunther McBride, Richard Johnson. Richie McGrath's on Hugo de Grez. Then uh, Merchant's friend, Noel Feely. Midland Flame wearing a red distinguishing cap, Jim Cullity. Master turn is Tony Dobbin. Toto, Toto Descato, Tom Scudamore. And Jura Vassi, Robbie McNally. And then we go down to 11, Lord of the River, Paul Carberry. 12 is Mondial Jack, Roddy Green. 13, Sir Frosty, Timmy Murphy. And uh, Sam Thomas putting up one pound over on Mercato, rides that at 9.12. They're the 14 runners for our opener on the second day here at Aitree. And here is the betting with Angus. Thanks, Jim. And this is a very interesting heat. We've got a change to the morning favourite. Uh, this morning, Midland Flame was a favourite with every bookmaker. Now here on the track, Gunter McBride is the 92 clear favourite with Midland Flame at 5-1. to one. Master turn, as I expected, has been supported here on the track. Eight into 15 to two. It's eight to one Royal Eclair, eight to one Merchant's Friend. Lord of the River is eights out to nines. Mercato tens out to 11s, but is well fancied. It's 20 to one bar. Coming in. And they're away. Good even break to Midland Flame down near the inside. One of the first away from Gunter McBride as they hit over the first. All got over that safely. Turgenev the grey jumping it back towards the rear. But on settling down and heading towards the second fence, which is an open ditch, and it's Gunter McBride headed by Toto Toscato on the far side. In the red cap is Midland Flame, and just behind them as they settle fully into stride is Lord of the River. Further back in the field then in the early stages Merchant's friend with the white cap right there in the centre. In behind them, Anjura Vassi. Further back is Hugo de Grez as they come now to the third. Further back in the field then is uh, Royal Eau Claire. On the near side, Hunter's Tweed starting to make a bit of ground in the early stages. They're followed by Turgeon Evan. Back in the field is uh, Master Turn, the well back Master Turn, about third last early from Mercato, and Sir Frosty is last as they head towards the back on the first occasion, just under two circuits to travel. The leader Toto Toscato by a length and a half to the red capped uh, Midland Flame in second, Gunter McBride third, Lord of the River fourth on the outside with a pink cap. Behind them in fifth place is Merchant's Friend, a couple of lengths to Juravasi. Then on the near side as they jump the first one down the back is Mondial Jack who cleared that okay. Out wider Hugo de Grez and they're followed by Royal Eau Claire. Out the back is Turgenev. They're followed by Hunter's Tweed and also Master Turn Sir Frosty as the leader comes towards the fifth and Mercato is still last. Continuing their journey down the back and Toto Toscato is out in front in the Lady Clark colours, leads by two lengths as they come to the second ditch and cleared it well too. From in second place, Midland Flame with a red cap up on the outside. Lord of the River, not that far away, just obscured as they come to the seventh now. And they've kicked away by four or five lengths to uh, well back in the field, Merchant's Friend as they prepare to leave the back. Master Turn is not going well at all. He's uh, really switched off there at the back. He's in last position and giving the leader a good 25 length start as they race now towards the cross fence. This is the one on the short straight between the two, the back straight and the uh, home straight. And the leaders, Lord of the River and Toto Descato, clear it well by four lengths to Hunter's Tweed. Four lengths away then in fourth position is Gunter McBride, who's travelling on the inside here of Merchant's Friend as they come into the home straight. Merchant's Friend is then followed by Turgeon Evan and Jura Vassi, and then on the outside, Royal Eau Claire, as they come to the ninth, the leaders. Back in the field too is Hunter's Tweed, followed for, then on the inside by Mondial Jack. Back in the field too is Sir Frosty and Toto Descato has been pulled up before the open ditch in front of the stands. Toto Descato obviously something amiss and uh, very quickly dismounted by Tom Scudamore as they continue their journey up towards the one that will be the last next time round. Lord of the River is the leader as they come to the 11th by two lengths to Royal Eau Claire. Then on the inside, Midland Flame from Turgenev the Grey. On the outside next is Hunter's Tweed, followed there in the centre by Anjur Avassi from Gunter McBride who's under pressure. They're followed then by on the outside, Merchant's Friend has given a slap with the whip, not responding. Passed by Mondial Jack Mercato. A gap then to Sir Frosty. 
Uh, right out the back, Hugo de Grez and Master Turn is at the back and going further behind them. Well, Peter, at this stage, uh, which one do you fancy? Well, I wouldn't swap for Midland Flame at the moment. Lord of the Rivers going well under a usual terrific ride from Paul Carberry. Master Turn made a mistake early on, can be a little bit moody at times and has said it's not for him today unless he's really stopped. But I can't see that happening. As I say, they've gone a good gallop early, they settle down now. And Master Turn has been pulled up as they turned out of the home straight. And uh, the leader here is Lord of the River from in second place uh, on the inside with the red cap. Uh, to this stage, Midland Flame. Then out deeper is Turgenev from Royal Eau Claire. Couple of lengths to Anjur Avassi as they come to the 13th. Good to McBride is there on the inside from Mondial Jack who lost ground at that. Couple of lengths to Mercato. A long gap in the field then to Hunter's Tweed who's struggling with Sir Frosty. And right at the back is uh, Merchant's friend and Hugo de Grez has been pulled up at the back and uh, one gone back in the field there. Uh, colours just obscured at the moment but as they continue their journey towards the last one down the back and the leader on the inside is Lord of the River. Turgeon Evers bolting up to his outer now and they're going stride for stride as they prepare to leave the back. Midland Flame is in third place on the inside of Azur Avasi who's running on well. Two lengths away, Gunter McBride followed then on the outside by Mondial Jack who's uh, regained interest. Two lengths further back in the field as they come to this uh, cross fence as Royal Eau Claire, four out and Turgeon Evers meant that a little bit wrong. But the leader uh, judged it to perfection, Lord of the River. Paul Carberry is booted away by two or three lengths to Turgenev in second. And Juravasi on the outside going into third from Midland Flame. And then a long gap in the field of the others. But they'll have to be good to catch this leader. Merchant's friend's been pulled up. It's uh, Lord of the River who comes towards three out. Jumps it well from and Juravasi is running on well. Turgenev starting to struggle. On the far side it's Midland Flame. But it's Lord of the River with two left to jump. This is the last ditch. Lord of the River in the centre jumps it well. From Azur Avassi is running on strongly. Then on the far side in third is Midland Flame. They've got one left to jump. He's kicked again. Lord of the River. Paul Carberry has got an extra ounce or two out of him. He's four or five ranks in front, powering away this talented jumper. He's uh, about six in front, coming towards the last. Lord of the River, the veteran. He clears it well. He's home for all money. He's six, eight lengths in front. This has been a magnificent ride by Carberry. Uh, he's really got the best out of Lord of the River coming up to the line to win it by six or seven lengths in second Midland Flame in third then in Juravasi followed by Turgenev a long gap then going to be tight uh, Dr McBride and Sir Frosty behind them Royal Oak there Mondial Jack and then last to finish is Hunter's Tweed first number 11 Lord of the River at nine to one second number seven Midland Flame at nine to two and third number 10, Onjour Ovasi at 20 to 1. All 14 ran. The winner won by seven lengths, and the winner was ridden by Paul Carberry.